Hey everybody, welcome again to another one of my videos. I'm going to teach you how to solve linear equations. Um, solving linear equations is probably the easiest uh, type of equation to solve. However, it is probably the most common and most important, um, so it's really important that you get the main idea uh, behind solving uh, linear equations. And I wrote the steps for you on the left-hand side of the screen, in green, and step number one is you want to get all the x terms on one side, and you want to get all the other terms on the other side. So we have a 5x term right here. Uh, we also have a negative 10 term, which is just a number, and we have a 20 term as well. Uh, so we want to keep the x on one side and we want to get the numbers on the other side. Um, and in order to do that, uh, we always need to do the opposite. Um, so I want to bring this 10 over to the right side. And if I want to bring the 10 over to the right side, since we have a negative 10, you always have to do the opposite. We want to do a plus 10. And whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side of the equation. Now, if you notice, we have a negative 10 and a plus 10, so our 10s cancel out, which is really good because we want to get the x by itself. Um, so now we're just left with 5x on the left side. And on the right side, we have a positive 20 and a positive 10, uh, which would give us 20 plus 10 is 30. And now moving on to step number two is get x by itself. And that's the whole idea behind these equations is we want to solve for x. We need to get x by itself. So in order to do that, you always have to do the opposite. Um, since this 5 is being multiplied by the x, 5x, even though you don't see it, there's a little dot right here. So the 5 is being multiplied by the x. Um, you always need to do the opposite to get x by itself. Um, so since 5 is being multiplied by the x, I'm going to go and divide by 5 just so we can get x by itself. Now if you notice, these 5's cancel out. And we are just left with x on the left side, which is the whole idea behind, behind step number 2. We want to get x by itself, which we did, so that's really good. And 30 divided by 5 is just 6. And this is our final answer. And notice, if you plug 6 in for x into the original equation, we get 5 times 6, which is 30, and 30 minus 10, which is equal to 20. And our left side of the equation is equal to our right side of the equation, uh, which tells us that our solution is correct and that we found the right answer. So this is just one very easy example on how to solve linear equations. Uh, they do get a little more complicated once you involve fractions and once you involve parentheses. Um, I do plan on making more complicated examples and more videos in the near future, so uh, stay tuned. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, if you need any extra help uh, with live tutoring or homework solutions, uh, please go to my website at mathmeaning.com. Uh, once again, mathmeaning.com, and I would love to help you out. And once again, thanks for watching my video, and take care.